Hello everyone, this is Iran Talk and in this video I'd like to take a look at the myth of the Nordic Scythians as well as the Nordic Sarmatians as has been promoted on many occasions by not only white nationalists but also individuals such as Jason Reza Georgiani. So what Jason Reza Georgiani and many white nationalists believe is that the ancient Scythians and Sarmatians were purely of Nordic European genetic stock and for this reason they creep them to be Germanics. So again, the primary objective of this video is to prove that the ancient Scythians and Sarmatians were not purely of Nordic or Germanic descent and had significant BMAC ancestry as is the case with the Sarmatians. So I will take a look at the, the Sarmatians from Central Asia as well as from Russia in this analysis as well as Scythian samples from Ukraine. So one of the Scythian sample sets from Ukraine and I'll also analyze the genetic origins of ancient Iron Age Iranians from Central Asia. What you'll be able to see here is that the ancient Sarmatians had significant amounts of BMAC ancestry and thus were not purely of Andronovan descent and they also had a bit of East Asian descent as well. I will also present genetic evidence from a recent study on the genetic origins of the Sarmatians to prove that they indeed had significant BMAC ancestry. This evidence is supported by professionally done studies. So what this means is that the native Iranian farmers of the BMAC culture played a major role in the ethnogenesis of the ancient Sarmatians. The population of the BMAC culture was also vital to the formation of the early Iranics as I will analyze here and what you'll be able to see is that even the ancient early Iranians had significant amount of BMAC ancestry much more than the Scythians and the Sarmatians had. Despite this, however, it is worth noting that genetically the Scythians and Sarmatians also had significant amounts of BMAC ancestry as my analysis here will show. So without further ado, I'd like to begin with this analysis. So up first, we have this snippet from Jason Reza Georgiani's 2016 article against perennial philosophy and in it he put forth the bold claim that prior to the Arab, Turkic and Mongol conquests of Iran, in other words, up to the end of the Sasanian period, the majority of Iranians were genetically identical to Europeans. And he claims that although some Persians and Kurds mixed with local non-Aryan Elamites and Assyrians, this was more than compensated for by repeated southward mass migrations of northern Iranian tribes such as the Scythians and Sarmatians who looked and thought like Germans. So here you can see that Jason Reza Georgiani is basically advocating a Nordicist opinion and he believes that the ancient Scythians and Sarmatians were very close to modern day Germans but my analysis here will largely refute these ludicrous claims. In fact, my analysis here will prove that the Sarmatians and the Scythians had significant amounts of non-European ancestry primarily from a BMAC as well as an East Asian source. Moving on, we have a snippet from Jason Reza Georgiani's 2019 monograph, Iranian Leviathan, and in it he again says that the ancient Aryans were largely of Nordic descent, which is interesting. He calls them the Nordic Aryan elites, and then he claims that this was later replenished by the Parthians, and he believes that the Parthians were largely, again, of Nordic descent. But my analysis on similar populations from the Iron Age from Iran will prove that this is not the case. Moving on, you can see that Georgiani claims that the Medes and Persians could speak with the Scythians and for this reason they were culturally very close to them but this is not true as the Medes as well as the Persians had significant cultural as well as genetic influence from the BMAC culture. So overall, all of these ludicrous claims made by Jason Rudra Georgiani will be refuted in this analysis. So before I transition into the genetic analysis in this video, I just like to present some interesting developments. So Thulatide, who is a known white nationalist and European uh, identitarian, here claims that the Scythians as well as the uh, Sogdians and the Vusun were not a white or European population and this was due to around 20% uh, of their ancestry deriving from a BMAC source which he calls Middle Eastern and 10% from Siberian East Asians. So what this suggests is that many white nationalists now are coming to the conclusion that the ancient Scythians and Sarmatians and related groups were not largely of European genetic stock and I think Georgiani needs to do the same. So yeah, that's essentially it for this phase of the video. In the next phase of the video, I'll be presenting genetic evidence from a professional study as well as my own analysis. 
So here we have the study in question and this is from 2021 and it took a look at the genetics of Iron Age nomads. So you can see it says the proportions of this ancestry increased through time and space. So it's referring to BMAC ancestry and as you uh, see at the very bottom it says Sarmatians also required 15 to 20 percent Iranian ancestry while carrying substantially less East Asian ancestry which is interesting. So this is much less than the Eastern Scythians and overall you can see that the uh, ancient Sarmatians had around 15 to 20 percent BMAC ancestry which is creeped here as Iranian ancestry. In fact these results prove that the process of BMACization was very much real in the ancient uh, heartland of Central Asia and even among the Iranics who largely avoided contact with the BMAC culture it had an influence as the Sarmatians here are said to have 15 to 20 percent Iranian ancestry. So here we have the breakdowns that I've come up with for the Sarmatians and these largely support the findings in the study. So this was done using Davidsky's G25 calculator. So you can see that the Anruno ancestry ranges from 60% to 72.8% with an average of 67.3%. Then the BMAC ancestry is heavy here ranging from around about 14.4% to as high as 21.4%. So what this means it is a significant part of the genome of these ancient Sarmatians. Then you can see East Chain ancestry at 7.4% and West Siberian hunter gatherer ancestry at 8.0%. So what these results indicate is that on a genetic level the ancient Sarmatians were largely a BMACized population and had significant BMAC ancestry and alongside this they had around 15.4% ancestry from a Siberian as well as an East Asian related source which is interesting. So what this means is that the Sarmatians on average were around 33% mostly of uh, non uh, andronomian descent which is a significant part of their genome. So these results largely uh, support the conclusions reached by the study in question. So here we have the breakdowns for the ancient Iranians from Central Asia. So you can see their Androno ancestry ranges from 39.0 to 75.6% with the average being 53.0%. Their BMAC ancestry ranging from 21.8 to 53.8%. So again BMAC played a major role in the ethnogenesis of the ancient Iranics. And then you can see Neolithic East Asian ancestry averaging out to 6.0% and finally West Siberian hunter gatherer ancestry averaging out to 3.2%. So overall you can see that the ancient Iranians from Central Asia were also largely BMACized and this includes the early Iranians from the Yath culture which is reflected here by the Turkmenistan Iron Age sample. And then you can also see related groups such as the Kongju Sogdians as well as the Wusun and others having significant BMAC ancestry and a bit of East Asian and West Siberian hunter gatherer ancestry as well. So what this means is that genetically these populations were largely BMACized and also had some East Asian ancestry. So before I conclude this analysis, I just like to present some genetic evidence I conducted on the Scythians from Ukraine. I did not include the Scythians from the East in this analysis since they had around 40 to 55 percent East Asian derived ancestry. Nonetheless, you'll be able to see here is that with these uh, Scythians from Ukraine, despite being mostly of Andronova descent, they also had a bit of BMAC ancestry. So what this means is that there were Scythian populations which despite not interacting much with BMAC nonetheless had a bit of BMAC ancestry. And these Scythians alongside the Scythians from Moldova are amongst the most western shifted Scythian populations. So what this means is that these Scythians have additional European ancestry that is absent in the Sakas or other eastern Scythians. So here are the breakdowns for these Scythians. So you can see they're on average 71.8% Androno, 13.0% Neolithic Anatolian, 7.4% BMAC, 4.8% Neolithic East Asian, and 3.0% Western Hunter Gatherer. So these results on the Scythians from Ukraine indicate that they had significant Androno ancestry. Despite this, however, they did have a bit of BMAC as well as East Asian ancestry. So their non European ancestry here equals to 12%. So what this means is that genetically the Scythians from Ukraine despite mostly being of Androno descent nonetheless had a bit of East Asian and BMAC ancestry. Keep in mind that these are the most western Scythians so this is very interesting and what these results prove is that even the most European Scythians nonetheless had a bit of BMAC ancestry. So yeah overall that pretty much does it for my analysis here on the genetic origins of the Sarmatians, the Scythians as well as ancient Iron Age Iranians. So yeah, that's actually it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.